Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be going over a little bit of the Fate Hub menu system because we've made some changes and a lot of people have been asking me to go over how to create a second menu and how to make that all work. So I'm going to be going over that today. I did want to just bring up the fact that we do have a new wiki page for all of our plugins, but for this case this is Fate Hub. Uh, you can get all your default config files here, view the latest change logs from stuff, look at the supported codes, commands and permissions are all listed here so you don't have to ask me every 10 seconds and everything else is listed over on this wiki page so you can go to wiki.bgxdevelopment.com or go to the plugin name.bgxdevelopment.com and you can go ahead and check out the wiki for that page um obviously fate hub is a paid resource so you would have to buy the resource download it put it in your plugins folder and inside of your menus.yml file that is where all this becomes um what we're going to be going over today another thing i just wanted to really quickly go over before we begin this video is i do have a new 5m series starting this week or next week i think it's next week at this point when this video comes out and we also are changing up our upload schedule so make sure to go to the community post to uh, take a look at that and uh, vote on what you want to see. Anyway, let's get started. So, by default, you have the server navigation menu, where if I hop in game here, it's just like your default factions, lobby servers, and stuff. If you click lobby servers, it actually opens up a second menu. And this is what a lot of people have been wondering, how in the world does this work? Well, we're going to go through here. So we're going to check where we see lobby servers, and that is item number three, where it says lobby servers. Um, you can see under the action, it's open menu dot dot hub servers. And then what we do is you can see there's a second menu down here called hub servers. And then this is what's inside that menu. So what if we wanted to make, uh, let's say this item, the UHC item, open a UHC uh, menu server. Well, first we're going to get rid of this execute here and change the command over to false because we're not actually going to be running a command. And then we're going to go to execute and we're just going to put the brackets and we're going to go open menu and we're going to name it UHC. So open menu UHC. And we're just going to keep it there. Now we actually have to create that menu to do that item, so to do that action. So we're going to come down here, and you're going to see where it says hub server's name, menu title, menu size, items. Well, where you get this is you can either copy that, or you can come up here and just copy from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this from here. We're going to copy where it says server navigation, menu, menu title, menu size, fill menu. Because I do actually want to fill this item, uh, this new menu, with some items so we're just going to go ahead and go down here and we're going to make sure we format this correctly so we just paste it in and we're going to change this to uhc and then we're also going to change the name to uhc and this is the name you're going to use in that um opening up uh the open menu thing is you're going to use this from name here so uhc matches where we put open menu uhc here so we're good there and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enable the fill menu so we're going to enable fill true and it's just going to fill up stained glass panes to anything that doesn't have an item we're going to name it uhc navigation we're going to keep the menu size 27. now we're actually going to add these items in here so what we're going to do is we're going to copy one of these example items we're just going to paste this below in our items list just like we have above so you're pretty much copying and pasting uh, each part from the pre-made menus to make your own menu and then in here we're just going to name this like uhc1 or something i'm going to put uhc1 we're going to make it a diamond sword in slot one and it's going to join q uhc or something just do something like that i'm just going to say do that now if we hop into our game here you can do fate hub reload or hub core also hub core reload both work fine you also want to go ahead and check your console to make sure everything has loaded up properly and everything. Um, and then you can obviously see some stuff will not load up if you reload the server. This includes new menus. So what you have to do in this case is you actually have to stop the server and go ahead and restart it. The reason we do this is sometimes not everything can be reloaded when the plugin reloads. So you have to make sure you um, set everything up correctly. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And make sure to restart. And if you ever have a problem where you reload the server and nothing happens make sure to restart it because if you restart it and it works you're good to go sometimes reloads break stuff and i can't really help anything that's why every message on reload says this will not reload everything restart if possible all right so we are back in game after restarting and you can see if i go ahead and click this it opens up properly now i did want to mention one thing that i noticed when i was doing this and i actually reverted the change so i could show you so if you have this problem where it just goes away like this and it's supposed to be opening the menu, what you want to do is you want to hop into your configure file and make sure your open menu is not under the execute, it's under the action. So you can see if I go ahead and enter it under the action, fate hub reload, 
and then I open it you can see it's opened up correctly and I actually have all these queues and everything set up so it, it is working properly um, and if I did have my UHC server open in the background I would have connected by clicking it um, obviously you can change what it does by the items in here so you can see here it would have sent me to Q UHC and stuff so it's pretty simple if you think about it it does get take some getting used to now configuration with any plugin I actually had a friend of mine message me last night asking me for help with a config or not asking me for help but bringing up the issue around configuration and how it can be super confusing so hopefully this video did kind of help you figure out how to configure stuff it's quite easy you literally you can copy and paste the full menu and just copy and paste this full thing if you want and then reconfigure it for a second menu with a different name and you are good to go. So just make sure you switch your names for what you want. Make sure you have switched your items for what you want and make sure you open it in the action area, not the um, execute command area. And obviously, if you have any problems, I highly recommend running it through a YML validator, um, which is all available online. Just look it up and it will tell you if you've made a string or formatting error and you can fix it that easily. Um, so that's super easy. I may actually end up putting one of those on the um, site for the wiki pages, um, but I have not decided yet. If that's something you'd be interested in, let me know. Um, I did move my mic during this video, so if you if it sounds good and everything, please leave a comment saying it sounds good and you made it to the end of the video. Very appreciated. Um, and you can see I read all comments because they pop up on my desktop. So shout out to that person who just commented on the video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll see you then. Bye.